Welcome back to the Inside Track. First, an update on Team Vesta Swind, who I'm sure you're all wondering about. They remain now on St. Brandon's Atoll, awaiting a lift off the island. As soon as we can, we'll bring you their full story, but the island has no internet, no satellite connectivity, so we have yet to receive any media. We know that the team are all well, and we're all looking forward to seeing them soon. Now for the race and the virtual eye tracker. As the fleet entered the light airs of the doldrums, Team Avi Medica, since rejoining the race, has made huge gains to the west. The fleet has now spread horizontally more than 300 miles, and Montfrey has had the biggest losses in the east. The top three are closer than ever, with inside of each other again after more than 12 days at sea. We called fleet leader Ian Walker on Abu Dhabi Ocean Racing an hour ago. The thing about light airs is, is that's when I think we've got to try hardest because if you can get out of the light airs quicker then you can make really big gains. So, you know, don't think we're not trying to work the boat as hard as possible. Um, the fact that we're doing one and a half knots instead of 20 knots, you know, the extra little bit of speed is almost more important in light winds. So um, there's a reason we're all sleeping on the bow and, and uh, sat up there just to try and get the best trim possible. and. You know, we're still tacking on every shift and still trying to work our way down the course. We're probably only going to do, I don't know, eight miles in this sked, but if we can do eight instead of seven, then that's good news. We'll get into more wins sooner. How's Justin's tooth? I don't think he's all right. I think uh, Wendy might have a career as a dentist. This was the fix that Phil Harmer made to Justin Slattery's tooth. Wendy, I've got to ask, have you ever done this before? Uh, not on a human, not on an animal either. But uh, in practice at the medical course, we did a bit of this. What do you think? That's the look. I was supposed to say it feels great. It feels an amazing job. Give me a second, for fuck's sake. Just get off the table. Where'd you get the bill? <laughs> How much an hour do you charge for that? You gotta be cheaper than the pros, right? Yeah. Nearby, their Chinese rivals were also taking some time to freshen up both bodies and boat. We just trying to get back to, uh, to scratch with everything with uh, our hygiene and, uh, and the boat itself. I was cleaning the winch or making sure the winch was okay, so we just tried to make the boat uh, back to normal again. It's very nice and easy day, so try to do that. There's uh, someone having a shower in the back now, for example. So. It's the first shower of the leg. We use a bucket take uh, sea water, we put uh, the bucket uh, over uh, our head to be wet, we take some soap, we wash and we do the same thing for, uh, for take off the soap and after you can use fresh water if you want, just a little because we don't have a lot of fresh water to, to unsalt the water. Oh, it's more, it's nice. Hygiene is important and it's not that easy at sea. I'm Jenny Tellick and we'll see you soon. Yep.